Well, I can report so far so good with that other AGM battery. I drove the car yesterday and everything seems to be working normally. I'm going to go ahead and park it and unhook the battery and I'll wait a week and see if the battery will show any signs of self-discharge with it. Disconnected, you can't leave it connected because there's always some draw from most of these newer cars. A lot of times you'll try things like this and everything looks okay, but the test of time, the real test. Now this one is a different story altogether. I estimate it's been in deep discharge for over three months. When I discovered last week that the battery tender or the little trickle charger I had connected to this AGM battery in my W10 had become accidentally unplugged, I go, uh-oh, no, I don't want to ruin a $200 AGM battery. So I put the charger on it and it didn't do a thing, absolutely nothing. And so I just unhooked it so I wouldn't do any more damage. We're going to pull it out of the car, haul it into the shop, and give it the old treatment and see if we can save it. If I hook my solar tester up to it, it's not even registering. It's not even showing low. And hooking up my other voltmeter to this battery, let's see, I got 4.3 volts. That's pretty bad. Okay, so it's not like zero, but I've only got four volts showing in this battery. So now let's hook it up to the other battery and put it on charge. We're going to put it on 10 amp charge for a while. I may even boost it to 15 amps to try to kick this battery back to life. And let's see what happens. Once again, I've hooked up my good battery here to the dead AGM battery with a couple of small jumper leads. I've hooked them up in parallel. That means I have positive going to positive on this battery and negative going to negative on this battery. Now I'm gonna hook up the charger to the good battery, being very careful to get black on negative and red on positive. Make sure I've got a good connection. Now we'll plug the charger in. And I'm going to set it to AGM battery. And I will set it to a 10 amp charge. All right, you can hear the charger load down. And now here you can see we're showing 13.2 volts, 10 amps and AGM. So now I'm gonna leave this for one hour. And then we'll come back and see if we've got any voltage showing up in the AGM battery at all. The battery's been on charge for one hour. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the charger and disconnect the jumpers. And let's see if we got any voltage in this AGM battery. Well, look at that. We got 11.1 volts. That's sure a lot better than what we saw earlier. So now I'm going to just go ahead and hook up that slow CTEC charger and find out whether or not that charger will be able to get a charge into this battery. You know, I just glanced up at the shop clock at 6 p.m. I think it's time to pack it in for the day, but I thought I would stop by and check in on the AGM battery to see how it was doing right off looking at my CTEC charger look at that it's jumped to the second indicator light that's a really good sign i've learned with this charger if it stays down here on the first indicator light it'll eventually trip out and show an error message on this little indicator right here but this is moving up on the charge okay i'm feeling the battery the battery is not cold it's not hot either the ctec charger is warm let's go ahead and throw my tester on before i bail out of here and see what we've got in the battery look at that 12.5 volts <laughs> that's a real good sign considering what it was this morning so we've been on the charger here for about eight hours i had a slow charge of about seven amps and this charger is set on the agm cycle we're not there yet, but I'm going to leave it on this charger overnight and I'll come back tomorrow morning and report back in.
It's the following morning, 8 a.m. I just came into the shop. So this has been on charge now for an additional 14 hours. And let's take a look at the SeaTech charger. All right, look, it's gone up here to the next charge level indicator. It's not showing full here. Um, the charger is slightly warm. It's not excessively hot. And the battery is showing no signs of being hot. So let's unplug the charger and we'll go ahead and hook up the tester. It's going to be really interesting <laughs> after how dead this battery was. Look at that. It's showing 13.5 volts now. Let's run it through the test cycle. I'm going to set it to a standard AGM battery. Uh, we're going to choose coal cranking amps. I check over here. This is an 850 coal cranking amp battery. So I'll hit enter. It's already set at 850. And then I'll hit enter again. Okay, it's showing the battery is okay and it's showing 799 cold cranking amps out of 850. Uh, that's very good. But we're not 100% sure yet this battery is okay. One thing I am going to do, I'm going to take it through a couple of cycles of rapid discharge and recharge and see if I can get any improvement on this test here. To discharge this AGM battery, I brought it over to one of the cars in my shop, hooked it up, and I turned the lights on to high beam. Now, I'm going to leave these lights on, but I'm going to be a little careful. I'm not going to walk away from this and forget about it. Now, to be safe, I've hooked up my tester, and I'm going to leave it on during this discharge cycle. It's currently reading 12.24 volts. It's been on for about five minutes. So at 1.30, I started the discharge. When it gets to 11.5 volts, I will stop and let's see how long that's going to take. I want to show you why I'm getting a little impatient. It's 2.15, so that's 45 minutes those headlights have been on bright. And look at that, I'm still over 12 volts, 12.13. So i got to keep an eye on this probably for another half hour or more. Take a look at this. It's 2.30, so that means it's been one hour. Look at the headlights. On high beam, still as bright as when I turned them on and the battery is still reading 12.2 volts. So if this were a bad battery, uh, this wouldn't be happening. It's 4 p.m. and I have to say that this is kind of a surprise for even me. You know, this battery had been dead for over three months. <laughs> Look at that, two and a half hours with these headlights on high beam and they're still shining brightly. Now they're just starting to fade. Let's take a closer look at the battery voltage and see where it is. It's at 11.55 volts. It's time to turn off the headlights and disconnect this AGM battery. I don't like to drain it below 11.5 volts. So tomorrow I'm gonna to put it on the fast charger and we're gonna run it back up and we'll probably do this one more time and then we'll retest this battery. It's been about 10 days and I'm back. I did take it through another cycle of discharge, you know, by turning the headlights on bright and then recharge the battery. Now it's been sitting out here for a week. It's been down around freezing. This is an old hard starting car. I set that battery in there and I hooked it up. Okay, it's hooked up. It's been hooked up for a week. So any drain from the clock or anything else will be pulling down the voltage and the charge in this battery. So I'm gonna hook the charger up to it first and we'll take a look and then we're gonna to try to see if it'll start this V8 engine. Okay, let's hook it up and see what we got. All right, you can see that at 12.54 volts, that's good. Let's take it to the test cycle. I'm gonna choose AGM battery, cold cranking amps, it's an 850 cold cranking amp battery. I've already set it to 850. Now we'll press enter. Okay, I've got 666 cold cranking amps. So it has dropped down. So it's showing that it does need a little bit of a charge. So you see this battery is not up to 100%, but it still might be usable, particularly if you put it in a car that you drive every day. So what I'm going to do now is start it up. That's the real test. Let's see if there's enough oomph in this battery to fire up this old V8.
Oh, that was great. Let's do it again and see how strong that starter rotates the engine. So I'm pretty happy with that. I think I've got a battery that I'm going to be able to use. But once again, it'll never be 100%. But I think if I put it in a car that I drive on a regular basis, I'm going to get a lot more life out of what was once a super dead AGM battery.